We've been doing some BigQuery demos, but we've done all of them from the console. Let's see how we can do the same sort of things using the CLI. So here I am back in my, big, my project and in BigQuery. And notice earlier, we created this data set called Sports, and inside the Sports data set, we had Super Bowls. Now let's see how we can do the same thing, but programmatically. So let's go over to the toolbar and we'll start up Google Cloud Shell. Okay, so I've already prepared some code. So let's copy and paste it into the shell. So the first thing we wanna do is create a data set. So notice the command is BQ, MK for make, and then sports data set. Okay, so it said that command completed. So the next step would be creating a table. So now we're gonna do BQ load. We're gonna auto detect the schema. And then we're gonna create a table called Super Bowls inside the sports data set we just created. And we'll upload that data from a cloud storage bucket. So let's grab that command and run it. And hopefully that one will work. So the bqls command will show us the tables that we've created in the sports data set. So it says we've created the Super Bowls table. The head command will show us the first few rows. So there's the first few rows of data. Now we run a now we want to run a query. So notice we'll do BQ query and then select winning team and count of games from the Super Bowls table, group by winning team, order by wins. So let's run that and we'll see if it works. And there we go, there's our query, which ran. So let's see if we can refresh this view up here. So let's go out of BigQuery and then right back into it. And there's our project. And now this is the new data set we've created with the new copy of the Super Bowls table. Now, if we want to get rid of that, then we'll just type the remove command. So BQRM, that will remove the table. Now we can run the LS command again. Now the table is gone, and now we can remove the data set if we like. And same thing, we'll leave BigQuery and then go back right, right back into it. And now expand that, and now that second sports data set has been deleted. Anyway, that's how easy it is to use BigQuery using the BQ CLI. This is Doug Renstrom with ROI Training.